Everybody, welcome to Northern Land Track Mania, track of the day, track of the morning to your laddies. No beard edition, I've cut down on my wind resistance by 0 0.03 kilonewtons. It seems like too much. Yesterday, we did, no, we didn't get the author medal, but we performed top 7 in BC, very admirable. Top 85 in the egg carton. And an 85 on a weekend is like a top 10 on a weekday. It's when all the Egomaniacs come out. They do their best uh, Mario Andretti impressions. Today, the track is called Fun. Let's see what the Discord has to say. Let's see how the Discord feels about today's track. Um, here we go. Fun map. 10 minutes to get gold. Fun map. I am not enjoying this one. You have to go full speed the whole time. Mmm, poggy. Give it one moment here. One moment. One moment. All right. Honestly, like, I, I'm not a narcissist about it. Let's see if we got GPS? We do. People in the Trackmania Discord are talking about the world record setting Trackmaniacs. They're not talking about my pittances, and, and I respect that. I respect that because it allows me to learn something about the track. So you're staying heavy left. You're getting a reactor boost down. Ooh, that's a, that's a spicy turn. That is a spicy turn. They're not wrong. This this is a heavy full speed. There's a drift in there. I saw the drift. Man, they're going... They're, they're, their lines are so tight. They're like a good barber. Oh my. Oh, that's a, a very, very tight kind of like vertical uh, luge at the end of that one too. Very interesting. The track is called Fun though. You think somebody would just go and lie on the internet? I don't think so. So we're going to take, you know, we're going to take our time. It seems like a track that has... Uh... First corner is a doozy. Um, it seems like a track that has a couple of pretty tough elements. I, I would never... Deny that. Yeah, okay. Um, like, you know what? How are you making it through section one here? The way you'd expect. Heavy outside. Okay, all right. The heavy outside then cut in to take the turn almost straight. So we're going to start over here. And then we're going to go like, yep. That was w slower than we'd like, but that's okay. Come through here. Certainly far from perfect. That's okay. This this course honestly seems like it's got uh, a challenge factor on it. I think that the GPS... <laughs> oh my god. I think the GPS made it look a little bit easier than it actually is. And I think we will be ashamed of our words and our deeds in a moment here. So you're gonna land. We're gonna turn. Well, we're still going, so let's let's keep it going. We're still going. Let's keep it going. It's good speed. Into the loop. Loops are no problem. Heavy NASCAR elements right here. Try to keep that throttle as high as possible. It's like driving on glass, dude. Okay, I can't believe that that actually kept us on. Oh, that hurts. All right, all right. The stubble was not the source of my power, I promise you that. Okay, we're through. Lost a lot of speed on that one, but at least we didn't lose another loan to die tech. Look at that, okay. I don't know, it's hard to tell without the ghosts if we're doing better or worse. That part was definitely worse. No doubt about that. Make sure you are taking the turn mid-loop and then... Uh, Probably would not have recommended that as your introduction to the NASCAR turn at the Coca-Cola 600. It's true. There is a NASCAR race referred to as the Coca-Cola 600. Obviously, I'm aware of the fact we probably shouldn't have taken that corner thusly, but we did. Now, this you got to aim a little higher than you'd expect most of the time on these because you lose a lot on the way down. Okay? You know, I mean, we're here. <laughs> Might as well finish it off with a 53-second bronze. Top 69. Uh, everything according to plan so far. What about a leaderboard that only shows you where you're 69th place? You know, it draws a cross-section of, you know, geographic or, you know, whatever position in order to show you, like, oh, you're the 69th best gamer that's 31 years old and lives above the uh, 43rd parallel. 
What about that? Some people might say that was immature. You know what? I would agree, honestly. I am... And it's not for a lack of, uh... Youthful vigor. I'm kind of, like, over the 69 jokes, honestly. There was a time where I felt like, uh... They were juvenile, so people didn't really say them. And that was the most fun time to say them. Because people would be like, oh, what are you, like 10 years old? But now everybody's kind of down with making the 69 joke now. Which has made it too mainstream. And I guess I'm a... I guess I'm a, a crass hipster. Now that everybody's saying it, I don't want to say it anymore. It's too easy. It's, it's no longer even the slightest bit subversive. Now we didn't have to slow down so much there. We didn't have to. This is... Uh, we're starting to get it, dude. We're starting to get it. Now that is not recommendable. Come on, just hold on. And then you make sure you're covering. Whoop! Okay. That's a 46 second time, good enough for silver. I, I agree that that is not a gold worthy time. We didn't crash into any walls or anything, but I definitely am like... I, I know where our problems lie. Keep in mind, the GPS did have a drift on, like, that second to last corner, too. Now, it's maybe a little too early to get bent out of shape about it. Let's not worry about it too much. You know, the, the first couple of uh, ten-minute intervals here? Really just a uh, nice Sunday drive. Pepsi bottle. Coca-Cola gloss. I actually thought we were a little slower there, but we've actually got way more full speed coming our way here, I think. And then, yeah, 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 that's good. Having to let off the throttle there, not good. But still definitely in competition. Now, it's post this loop that things all go terribly wrong. That was better, smoother. But still, certainly not uh, our long-term approach. Still cut a second off. I'm, I'm, I'm actually, like, surprised is not the right word. But I, I thought that that actually had gold potential. But, you know, we've, we've learned a valuable lesson recently about gold medals and author medals and so on and so forth. Hello, Tomo. You know, we, we can't really be necessarily expectatory. I don't even think that's a word. Isn't expectatory what they call it when you have a productive cough? <laughs> a cough that produces expectorant? Now there, okay. Smooth turn. Grip it. The rips are ripping it. Lost a little bit of rubber on the road there. Let off the throttle slightly, but we did that last time as well. So we know that there's, there's room to grow there. It's post this loop. Post this loop. Everything goes terribly wrong. That was substantially smoother. The higher you go on the ramp, the more gravity helps you out on the way down. We cut another two seconds off the time. I am still surprised that we are not... Okay, gold is 44. Oh my god. We were 18 thousandths. 18 thousandths. 1.8% of one second away from that juicy gold medal. Now, the author? <laughs> no idea. Our ghosts are all off, by the way. I'm trying to, how do we turn ghosts on? Just let me sit here for a second. What is the ghost on button? Tilda? Tab? I thought it was like back. It's not back. Left bumper? Left trigger. Probably not left trigger, huh? Up on the D-pad. None of the D-pad buttons. Click the stick. Nope. Oh, what have I done? That seems right. Um, A button. Alright. Isn't it X? I don't know, man. We might have to end up uh, asking the Trackmania Discord for some support. I accidentally turned ghosts off at the end of the last episode. Whoop. <laughs> and have no, uh, no memory of how to turn them back on. It's definitely something you can hit on the controller, because I must have hit it on the controller. So this corner leaves a lot to be desired. 
I have to imagine that crashing into the cherry blossom was probably not the optimum approach there. We're getting that corner a little bit more consistently. How am I doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. It is a, uh, it's a Monday. But again, I, I kind of like, you know, my weeks are different than the average work week. I don't mind Mondays. I just, uh, I have to put myself in a certain headspace because the Monday NLSSs do. Um, I wouldn't call them necessarily combative. I think that sends the wrong message. Wednesday NLSSs are a little bit more cooperative. Robert and I, you know, find common ground and speak about it. Some light disagreements. Monday NLSSs are a little bit like uh, professional wrestling. You know, we're, we're going to be taking shots at one another. So I gotta, I gotta get myself prepared for that. So honestly, I think there's no better preparatory uh, approach. Can I, excuse me, what is a preparatory repertoire? That's the one. Um, there's no better preparatory repertoire when you're preparing for some preposterous repartee um, than, you know, 40 minutes, an hour of just a nice drive through uh, Satan's Carnival here. Grip it, rip it, that was gripped. And I gotta tell you, until we touched the wall there, it was heavily ripped as well. So we are behind, but old me was pretty trash at this section. I actually think there's a recovery in this for us, possibly. That's not gonna help. Preparatory repertoire for a preposterous repartee. Even, you know, sometimes I'm annoyed with my own diction, I promise you that. It's one of those things where you're like, yeah, congratulations, you read a dictionary. Um, when are you going to take the words and actually make them funny instead of just serving your own purposes as the person who told the joke? Well, I don't know. I'll consider it. <laughs> Screw. Okay, if you can just grip and rip and not have to let go, then yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to be like actually a second ahead, I think. And just give it a second. It's still percolating out there. That, I think we could have stayed full speed. Shouldn't it change direction so much in the air? That, I'm not salty about that. That's a lap that's extremely recreatable. Like Hollywood studios treat the story of Robin Hood. We, we can make that ten times a year. Well, hopefully more than ten times a year. We're a second behind. Which is a little bit surprising, but again, we got heavy speed here. And it's only going to get better... Here, as long as we don't have to let up too much. Very nice. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be way up. Once we've started to embrace full speed meta, that's gonna be huge. I actually thought we were gonna cut way more than that off. It is early today, by the way. It's only just afternoon. That top nine British Columbia, we we can dust it. We we can destroy it. This is not even going to be close. And I got to tell you, well, I don't know. I don't know what the other scores are, but we can cut at least another two seconds off this. I think without a ghost. Although you know, for sanity's purposes, we'll probably <laughs> put ghosts on a little earlier. If I could remember what key actually uh, brings them back from the from the underworld. I'm trying to think of like, it's not right stick. Yeah, because we did that 20 times. See ya. That's not, that's it. Different people have different camera preferences. There's no doubt about that. I feel like I've hit almost every button on the controller. What about this one? What about this one? Really? Okay, well, here, here's my new thought. Change opponents, give me some Canadian opponents. They don't appear to be, oh, there they are. There, hello. Uh, hello, Track Mania Discord. Anyone remember the key to turn, to toggle ghosts on, off for visibility? That's, that's, I've, I've asked them a very important question here. I hate that we haven't even graduated to North America yet, but we, what, we gotta be like under 15 minutes into the video? Yeah, just under 15 minutes into the video. I told you, I'm notoriously good at judging time without the existence of a clock. It's one of my many talents. I think that I was born in the wrong era. You know, were I born in an era prior to the existence of clocks? 
You could rely on me. You, you could just come by my hut and be like, Hey, what time is it? And I'll be like, I don't know, seems like about 11.22. They'll be like, oh crap, I had an appointment at quarter past. And now that's ridiculous? Nope. Wrong. Ridiculously smart, maybe, is what you mean to say. I had to let up because I was just... I didn't anticipate the corner because I was too enamored with my own joke! That's alright, we still cut it. We still cut it. Let's see if the Discord's got a new message for us. G or O? X button on the controller. Let's go! Save! Thank you! The egg carton! Saved! <laughs> I, I thought I hit every button on the controller. It turns out I forgot to hit uh, the X button. Probably the second most uh, important of all the face buttons. I don't know. It's it's tough, right? Because, I mean, A, at least in a North American controller scheme, A is number one. There's no doubt about it. It's select. It's usually like jump. It's primary action, you know? B, on the other hand... Depends on the game, you know? In some games, B... Well, I mean, it's it's usually cancel, no matter what, which is an extremely important option. But then, apart from that, it's usually relegated to a tertiary function, you know? X is like your primary attack in a 2D attacking game. Uh, it might be like reload in a first-person shooter or something like that. Depends on the console, but I don't know. I, I think I'm more of an A than X than B than Y in terms of, of usefulness, but it definitely depends on the game. Like if you're a fighting gamer, uh, you might, well, I don't know. First off, you can't be that into it if you're playing on an Xbox 360 controller, I suppose, but I'm not the gatekeeper. I'll leave that up to the fighting game community. Um, however, Y might be your heavy attack, in which case you're like, oh, I use that quite uh, often. And B might be like, I don't know, trigger your special move, which you only do when your meter's full. But if you're using your meter for EX attacks, you know, en route to a two-stock victory, then it's not that big of a deal, you know? There we go. That's, that's the line we needed there. Hate it? Just hate it. Maybe we should, uh, and I, I don't, because we've had great lines through that section. But I do wonder... If maybe, oh no, 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 no. I do wonder if there's not a case to be made for using a power slide there to maximize our ability to get through it safely. Just no matter what, like I, I think we're gonna lose this one, but it's nice to get some refresher on the rest of the course as we make our way down here. That's good. I can't believe for all the difficulty I thought that corner would pose to us, it actually hasn't really been that bad. I honestly think the back section of this course, I can't say this necessarily with any authority so far, but I think we can compete with any of the ghosts presently on the screen. The front half is where things remain highly, highly touchy right now. Had to lay out the throttle slightly! The GPS drifted. But does anybody know, does the GPS... Does that trigger author metal status? Like, does, is that indicative of the speed you need to go to get author? Because maybe this is just insane. But every time I watch the GPS, I'm like, ah, they're not that good. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot the toggle button, too, because I'm realizing now... We used the toggle button in that NASCAR episode, like, all the time, didn't we? Like, there were a lot of times where it was completely unnecessary to have the ghosts on. At some point, I'm just mugging for the camera, I'll admit. Okay, now that's my kind of corner there. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I think we got a speed advantage too. 
feels... Oh my god! Who the heck is that? And why have I done this? I didn't want to adjust because I was like, oh, if I adjust... They're gonna be ahead of me. <laughs> so instead I didn't adjust, and I crashed. Whose fault is that? Trackmania's, you're absolutely right. It's Trackmania's fault. Very smooth, very accessible turn. He's gripped it. I have it on good authority, he has not ripped it. I do like this course, and again, like, I feel like I've bucked the trend recently of being like, bad, 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 then when I get an author medal or a gold medal, I'm like, it's great! I think this one's pretty solid all the way through. Like, there's definitely some turns that are frustrating to try to take at full speed, and if you don't take them at full speed, it seems like you, uh, pretty much just have no chance. Um, but when you get on a perfect line, oh my god, it feels so satisfying. And I actually, I, I gotta call myself out for, in order to recognize this. But this is a course where I think all of the difficult elements are loaded at the front. Which is pretty much what I want. E everything I've asked for, whenever a track puts like a hell obstacle at the end, I've always been like, why don't you put it at the start? So that we can get past it and then have fun. We just need to be wider on that turn. I think I'm just being a fool right now. Um, remember, you gotta, you gotta learn from the ghosts. You gotta learn from the ghosts. You're not just here to outcompete the ghosts. You're here to learn from the ghosts. Yeah, yeah, I think start more left and then drift heavy towards the the right side towards the end of it. But yeah, like that that first corner, like th this element right here, right here, is actually really tough. That's a good element to have at the start. And then this element. Also pretty tricky. I, I actually think I've got a new strategy there, so I enjoy the regression before progression, because this is going to be a textbook example. That's fine, we got tons of speed. There we- yeah, that's- I lost confidence, that will work for us. Don't adjust your steering once you start. You know, you, you just gotta send it to the right on that one. This is fine, just- we're getting practice on this element. Ah! Sorry, that was beneath me. Now. Good stuff. You got speed here. You don't sweat that. As long as you got... You, you have to either be close to the front or have speed. Neither is a curse. Why? Why? Please talk to me, Lisa. You are my future wife. You are tearing me apart, Lisa. Why are you so hysterical? Okay, now, for the first time in 100 years, we've made it through this section. Consider that gripped but not ripped. But I think there is room for me to beat me. Yeah, you're supposed to turn there, is the problem. That you're supposed to turn there. If you don't turn there, then your car doesn't turn. If your car doesn't turn, you end up smashing head first into the wall. Now that is acceptable. You gotta be at the front or you gotta be fast. Uh oh. That's gonna put a damper on things. <laughs> I think we we need a, a momentary break here for a second. We were we were very consistent for a while, and things have started to deviate from that path slightly. That's what we're looking for. Then, it, yeah, yeah, as we land, you pivot. We lost a little, but we're still in there. That wasn't our, our ideal line. Then it, that was actually really good. A light turn midair. We're behind our previous self, but I've come to realize that I think my previous self actually just crushed it there. And that, I think, was as good as it gets right there. Good, good. Took off another six tenths. All right, take a moment. We're gonna caffeinate slightly here. I actually regressed British Columbia wise. I would say, can we get a? Uh, we can't get North American opponents yet, huh? Play alone. Are you insane? Give me some Canadian opponents. People are doing real well today. People are doing real well today. We're at forty-two point oh eight eight. 
I think that um, solving the riddle of the Sphinx on this one, you know, finding the, the line of our dreams. Just don't lose confidence on that turn. It's so hard, but remember, it's not you driving with your, you know, your family in the car. It's just a digital man. If he slides headfirst into the wall, nobody cares, dude. All right. Ah, but it still does hit me with some psychic degree of pain. Um, anyway, ignoring that insanity. Uh, we did clip the wall slightly there, but I think we need some practice as we get deeper into this course. So let's not let it get too far inside of the old dome piece. I don't know, man. I, I mean, there, there's probably at this point, I think, a, a case to be made that full speed through that turn is for the best. But if you have to just touch the brakes in order to stay on, or, or even just like r lay off the throttle for an eighth of a second to stay on, that's going to give you better times. You know, instead of just fishing for that like all, all green split, accept that you might lose a little time there and then try to make it up later. Like that part is totally fine. That's uh, an example of how I would not do that one. <laughs> Quite frankly, but it is what it is. We got good grips there. Nice. Didn't spend too much time in the air. Good speed. Good approach here. I believed I did lay off the throttle for a momentary impulse. And that it's more than good enough to keep us in there. Light turn. Light turn and now full throttle. How do you guys take it? Pretty close, huh? You take it pretty close to the chest on that one? Can I tell you something? I got distracted because I was like, is that me? I was looking at the name on the back of the car to try to figure out if I was about to pass me. I got some bad habits happening right here. Some bad driving habits. We gotta sort these out. If you'll excuse me, I'll be going to a different track. This is where I'll say, hey, NL. Why don't you take the... Why don't you just see if that leads to a shortcut? Well, the only... I mean, you can... There's cuts, and, uh, you know, without belaboring the point. Um, it's not fair to say that you can only take cuts to the final checkpoint. The thing is, you have to hit every single checkpoint. So you, as much as people try to hit you with the Mario Kart Koopa Troopa Beach, like, hey, why don't you just skip from the very start of the level to the end? There is, um, there are systems in place stopping that. You know what? I actually like this a lot. We're going to dip behind a little bit. Um, maybe not behind our previous self, but behind the, the pack here. Pretty much... Until that moment, we had the perfect line there. But I'm realizing... Here's, here's my, new th my new idea for that turn that's been giving us so many problems. We're going to lay off the throttle uh, as soon as we land for about a quarter of a second. Line up the turn. Line up the turn, I said. And then make it happen. We lose... You know, it, to me, it seemed like we lose about two tenths. thing is you can't ever stop turning to the right um there you go but it's two tenths that's worth spending in order to maximize the number of productive laps we have i think now remember you're going right straight away here wheels straight wheels straight that was beautiful that was a beautiful lap we could do a lot better, too. We could do a lot better than that. This is a... I don't know. Obviously, this track maybe vibes better for the general populace than it does for me. Not in terms of enjoyment. I'm enjoying the track quite a lot. But in terms of, like, performance. Definitely right now, to me, feels like I'm, I'm walking uphill in these rankings. Now, if only... That's not going to be it. <laughs> it's like, if only I could hit the line. Like, I think I've, I've got the next steps, okay? 
the next steps are very simple. This first part, just do it. You know, you don't. I love seeing a gray split. It's like getting two pants on the back at once. But the next part, to get to the next level, is a NASCAR turn. We got to be full speed or close to it during NASCAR. If we can do that, carry a ton of speed into this section. Then remember, you're going to the right immediately. And then just don't throw it. Very nice. Another 0.4 seconds off. Okay. Mo definitely moving up. Definitely moving up and feeling pretty good. Top 5 BC. Still not going to give us North America, huh? Give me some new Canadian opponents. I'm ready. Socks, socks, socks. Okay, so everybody... We're, we're hitting that... We're, we're in the normal part of the distribution curve right now. Where everybody's like around the same time. Now, was that lap perfect? Obviously not, because it's not even at the author medal. But it's definitely in the realm of my version of perfection. <laughs> oh. You know what? I think we, we now have to do... Play against my followers. Actually, no, no, no. We're going to play... Excuse me. If you'll excuse me here, just a moment. If you'll just excuse me one moment, please. We're going to change, we're going to play alone, and then we're going to go to the stopwatch, and we're going to turn the top ghosts on, and we'll keep Rukario Man on as well, because they're roughly at our level, I think, if that's, you know, without being insulting. Yeah, I think we were roughly at the same level there. Alright, so again, part of being decent at Trackmania, I think, is not getting wrapped up in the little stuff that was obviously not the ideal approach to the first element but you know as long as we're we're within striking distance i'm not worried about it are we losing much here i would say not that much still holding Took this turn a lot better than I did last time. That was a weak point for me last time. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, that's a that's a solid improvement. Another point three off. Originally, I might be like, I don't know how we would improve upon that, but like we've been hitting the PB so reliably lately on, on this run specifically that I'm like, you know what? I mean. It certainly seems to me like we still got that ability in us. So this, we didn't slow down at all on this one. And we barely improved upon our time. Okay. Duly noted. Oh! Oh, we were in there. That That's one I wish I just laid off the throttle for, you know, whatever length of time was appropriate. Okay. All right, look at how tight the, the top drivers in the egg carton are up there. That's absurd, dude. Don't touch the wall. Okay. We're still competitive. We're still competitive up here. This is where things get hot. Just grip it and rip it. Okay, consider it gripped and or ripped. I knew it wasn't going to happen there. <laughs> We're still losing it on NASCAR. Because even, uh, and don't take this the wrong way, Rucario Man, because we're at, like, the same lap time. But even Rucario Man was kind of passing us there. So obviously that, you know, there's time for, for some results to be trimmed there. I don't know where the author medal is today, but this is one of the more uh, satisfying quests for the author medal, I think. Well, if you'll excuse me. Because like, this one, it doesn't feel like there's an enormous gap. That being said, I have no idea what the author medal is. Um, it feels more, though, like every run when we get a PB, we're waiting with bated breath. Could this be the one? I think I clipped the wall. We're only at 35 minutes, which is pretty good, too. Okay, okay. 
Sorry, these these videos have become much less banter rich. <laughs> That's okay. Like literally every other series is predominantly banter. This is one where I'm like, I enjoy focusing on the mechanics. Like if I can sneak in a little banter or a, a couple of quips every single episode, that's the most important thing. You know, give give everybody a little something to think about. I don't like to go two days in a row without an author. I've, I've come to terms with the fact that sometimes you don't have control over that. Sometimes it's more a product of where the author medal was set. Well, really, every time it's more of a product where the author medal is set. Okay, you can grip and rip this one. I let off the throttle ever so slightly in the early part of that. But I think we're unaffected. Didn't leave too much rubber on the road there. That's a great lap. That's a fantastic lap. I'm a little surprised that that didn't improve us to the author, but that's okay. Top 22 in Canada. Keep it moving. 40.87. It's a fun track. I, I give this a, the certified seal of approval as well. Yesterday's was fun. This one's fun too. I, I really like that it... Oh. I really like that at the end of this track, there's an ice luge so you can watch your car yeet into the stratosphere. It's like the end of a Mario Maker level when they have you bounce on a couple of springs and then they go, Help me! It's a good one. So we're, we're chilling in the back line right now. Not the best place on the map to be, but that's okay. This early section... I mean, I, I think our, our time, like our PB, is tight enough now. Not tight relative to the world record, but relative to my, you know, optimum performance. <laughs> um, that I really do think that the start of the track matters a lot. You know, every tenth is kind of a battle right now. So even just like getting a little air time there, I'll live with it, but I'm displeased. And we're still struggling a little bit on that corner. Um, but I, I'm, I'm open. I'm open to hitting the brakes a little bit. Not just throwing it away for no reason. You can definitely tell that we're way too far to the right on that jump. All I'm going to say in my own defense is that it's not intentional. Like, if this was a turn-based strategy game, I would just p place my car uh, where I wanted it to be. But, this, you know, this is a real-time game where there's a billion neurons and, you know, sodium-potassium channels all working together in the hopes of creating one racing dynamo. It's not as easy, you know, a lot of people would tell you chess is one of the hardest games on Earth. It's not hard at all. You get two hours to think of every single move. Just make the best move, dummy. Computers have been doing it for decades. Racing is hard. You make one mistake on the chessboard. Oh no! I I took a draw as the white pieces, dude. That means I'm gonna end up playing against Grandmaster Viswanathan Anand in the next round. Oh no! You make a mistake in racing. Oh crap! I'm dead. So you tell me what one's harder. They're both hard in their own ways. Wrong. Racing is harder. I say this as someone who has never raced in real life and has played a lot of chess. The only danger in competitive chess... Yo, that was amazing. Is, uh... Encountering a sheltered opponent who has never lost a game in their lives. And then if you beat them, they're gonna cry at the table and it's gonna be a very embarrassing moment for everybody, including yourself. I did, uh, so, yeah, I played in a lot of, like, regional and provincial level chess tournaments as a kid. In one of the regional tournaments, I'll never forget, uh, we drove my other friend there who was also pretty good. He was, like, this is, I guess it's a weird flex. There was a pretty solid shot I was gonna get the gold, and I did. Uh, he, w he was more of, like, a, you know, bronze to fifth overall player, and I remember he was playing for the bronze. And he lost, and he started to cry. We were in seventh grade, and I was like, Ooh. Like, I, don't get me wrong, as an adult, I am sympathetic to the seventh grader crying because he slipped from third to fourth at a chess tournament. As a seventh grader, I was like, I feel bad for my friend, but I was also like, dude, 
Come on, man. We're supposed to be... We're at the peak age to be pretending that we're adults. <laughs> Can't be crying over chess tournaments over here, dude. Trying to improve our... Uh, our social status for the next uh, four years of high school coming right up. Okay. This is... I mean, at this point... It's very hard to recover. That's definitely not going to help. <laughs> I hate to say it, but Rucario, man, it's like, as soon as I see your car pass me, which is still a really, really good lap for the record, as soon as I see your car pass me, I give up hope that we're, you know, we're, <laughs> we're doing the right thing to get to the next level. Okay, so that's old me. Old me was doing great stuff here. I really think incremental... Approaches or what's good? Oh, this is a great turn. I could tell right out the gates. It's still so close. Go higher, I guess. We we gotta find some like leverage point. That's not it. That hurts. That hurts. Maybe we we're actually a little closer to uh, my peak level of mastery than I thought we were. Like. 40.87 is just one of those times where you're like, I don't want to find out that the author medal today is like, you know, 40.8. Oh, how did I get such a boost there, dude? Are you drifting? You tell me if you were drifting, right? There's not a lot of separation. That's all I'm going to say. Like, I mean, when you... Like, you can't really look at the times here, but... When you look at uh, the ghosts... Like, this is not a track where, like, one person solved the riddle of the Sphinx. This is a... Like, if you overlaid all of the... All of Lewis Hamilton's lap times on top of one another. That's what you'd get here. And we're kind of more pulling a... You know, Daniel Kivat. I don't think that's how it's pronounced. Kivat? You know what? Let's just say Pierre Gasly. There you go. It's an easier one for me to pronounce. It's not Daniel either, is it? It's Daniel? I don't know. Look, I've been a little bit out of the F1 game for a while here. I apologize. Screw no skirt. Skirt denied. Alright, we're pretty close to being done with the, the lap today. I definitely would like to put in one more PB. I'm not worried about dying in like the early sections of this lap. Like That doesn't scare me at all. What scares me is well i mean there's a really i think an easy way to think about this one if we have the lead post nascar we have a serious prerogative to finish that lap in the pb position because there's very little between us that's not gonna help there's very little between us once we reach the end of the course here Although I thought we were actually going maybe a little faster toward the end there. Um, so we really, like, if we're gonna beat our previous self, it pretty much has to happen. Um, not now, but on the, on the big turn that I constantly screw up. How's that for some high-pressure situations? I feel like... Jeff Daniels in Dumb and Dumber when he's trying to get that lady's phone number but his leg's on fire at the gas station. Can you just give me the number? What a talented actor. That's not facetious. I, I, I think Jeff Daniels is a very talented actor. I think Dumb and Dumber is a great comedy. Dumb and Dumber 2? Mm, I haven't seen it. So, we'll just leave that in uh, underappreciated genius territory. I, so, I'm, I think I'm gleaning something. I think I'm learning more from my ghost than from the other ghosts right now. 
which is definitely a problem. Grip it. Okay, your wheel's wobbly on that one. Yeah, that's going nowhere. Um, I think I'm learning that you will win on the banked, the, the heavy sloped corner, the faster you get your wheels straight. So instead of turning until you're on the exact perfect vector, I think the secret... That's going nowhere. I think the secret is going to be letting off the turn as soon as possible to get another half second of full throttle speed. And when you put it that way, you know, you're like, duh, right? But it's, it's in the moment, you're like, well, why wouldn't I set myself up uh, with the best possible direction on my next turn? Yeah, I knew that was coming, but we I think we got it in principle. I don't think that's going to cut off enough time to let us compete with the, the big dogs on this one, but I think realistically it could cut off enough time to let us PB in a nail biter. <laughs> I was going to say comfortably, but then I was like, no, I don't feel I don't feel that it's, that's apt. So basically just like let off the throttle now or let off the turn there. Um, we had to get back in the turn in order to keep a good vector, but that's okay. The turn is fine. It's gonna be- Ah! It is not fine! It's very not fine, Michael. Okay, but we- I'm telling you, we're in there. I don't think we're gonna beat our PB by a second. I think we could beat our PB... ...by two or three tenths. Believe it or not, I think we got some speed. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I couldn't illustrate my thought process, but I was like, I think we got some speed. However, I can't turn sharply on the loop. If I turn sharply on the loop, then we're going to lose that speed. So instead, we just crashed. That's fine. That's fine. These guys keep it so close to the chest. That section right there. I don't know, man. I'm also thinking, I, like, I don't know how much we lose there. It's a little late for me to start be thinking about throwing a Tokyo Drift in there. That seems bad. Yeah, we want to see as little exhaust, as little dirt off of our tires as possible. Lost a ton of speed, just a ton of speed. It's another very technical track today. I'm certainly not disappointed in our performance if we're top 67 North America. Like, that's, uh, that's more than acceptable. And again, I think every day this happens, we're learning something. If we could string together, like, six lessons and then follow it up with, like, a nice uh, author medal. <laughs> that would be ideal. Just looking and I'm like, I, these guys... Okay, that's no good. But these guys don't seem to be turning their tires until they land. If they're not turning their tires until they land, I don't think that realistically they could uh, they could make it with uh, make this turn without sliding. Even sometimes when I do turn my wheels before I land, I don't make the turn without sliding. Very upsetting is all I'm going to say. It's very upsetting indeed. Now that's that's okay. That's okay. As Fifty Cent said, "It's okay. It's all right. I got something that you gonna like, and I hope it's right here." Now through the apex, it's your only chance. Way, way too much time in the air. <laughs> Maybe I don't have another PB in me today. This, this is painful, though. I mean, it's still, a, again, a, a good day. The 40-second the track time on a track that's somewhat technical and was a little bit complex the first couple of times through. A lot to like. So here, my, my last kind of like a Hail Mary for now. Stop moving so much at the start for one, but... My last kind of Hail Mary for now is follow these guys more closely. Like, don't even look at the turns. Just look at their cars. 
I think they're drifting. And I don't, I don't know for certain. I can't back that up. Still think they're drifting? Well, they might just be drifting better than me. <laughs> There's always that possibility. But I don't feel bad about my PB today, because I really think that, like, some days we have runs where, like, we crush our PB on certain splits, but just can't string it together. Today is not that. Today is, like, I'm, when I race my PB, I'm like, we are, we were really good. That was a really good personal best. That, uh, honestly, I think I can be, I can be proud of. Now I'm open to all the tips. And I have noticed, I'm not trying to cast dispersions. Whenever somebody leaves a comment that starts with, Hey, NL, I've been playing Track Mania for a long time. I know that there's constructive, usable criticism coming. Whenever a comment starts with, I don't own this game, but... I know that I'm going to be upset by the time I finish reading it. Why doesn't he just break? So I appreciate all the Track Mania advice. Even the advice that is coming from a place of ignorance. Because I'm the same, you know, like when I watch sports. So I'm like, eh, come on, just don't miss the net. <laughs> Forehead. Yeah, not making that one. Um, but I, I do take the, the track mania advice from the, the people with TM in their name to heart, for sure. When I see the TM, I'm like, I know that this is coming from a place of, uh, of benevolence, not malice. That was a really good turn, by the way. I didn't want to call attention to it because we kind of screwed it up, but our line was actually super nice. Good. Very good. Little light on that corner, but we're going to be competitive at least. Didn't... Didn't go too far. Over the... Okay, we, look. You got to get over it because we weren't going to make that anyway. In terms of getting a new PB. There's so little time for us to derive. How are we looking here? We're going to have a ton of speed because we came down the whole hill. Wouldn't give up on this one just yet. Probably would give up on this one right away. Last thing I would think is one of these. <laughs> I really thought that I was doing something special there. I was like, oh, if I throw in a drift at the end, maybe I'll start going Mach 25. Yeah, that's why they build race cars to drift instead of just go in a straight line as fast as possible and maintain maximum grip to the track in almost every situation. The time flies by, right? Like, I, we, we did set a PB like 15 minutes ago, but I'll recognize it. It, it, it can be painful to watch. Mommy, why doesn't the streamer not crash? Well, honey, the streamer doesn't not crash because he's going at speeds of 500 kilometers an hour. And, you know, the turns are, we're talking about, uh, you know, microseconds that separate the the greats from the, from the have-nots. Mommy, I don't understand. I'm just a big baby. Wah, wah, wah. That's right, sweetheart. Now sleep well. First day of college is tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> all right, all right. Screw. And then around the horn. Beautiful. And then, just just keep a. If you can even keep a couple of wheels, a couple of wheels on the candy cane, I think is okay. It's an acceptable turn here. We lose a lot there. I don't know what I did, dude. But old me nailed that section. We can grip and rip this. I don't know what to say. Old me? Kind of a boss. That's that's as close as I've been in 15 minutes. It hurts, it hurts to admit that you were better when you were younger. 
even if it was only 20 minutes ago. <laughs> I think this is going to have to be our last attempt here. I'm being totally sincere. Well, it lands good attempt. The the track mania videos friggin' fly by. Like, considering that these are an hour long, I feel like we've still just basically gotten started. I can totally see how people would like grind the track of the day for three hours every day if they got the time. Very addictive, like oh, just one more run, mom, sort of situation. But again, one more good one. I'm not gonna hit you with the one more. You know what? When I was going to bed last night, I had a I had a kind of shower thought. Now, a shower thought doesn't mean you have it in the shower. It just means that when your it just means when your brain is idle. So it's one of those things that is like, or maybe when your brain's at its most active. This is not a great shower thought, um, and I think I was pretty sleepy when I came up with it. But I was like, man, you know what's weird? For all the times people spend dreaming in Inception, whenever they get woken up, you never hear anybody go, "Hey, just five more minutes." You know what I mean? Like, you would think if they were really asleep, when they woke up, they would be like, Hey, I just want a little more of that, before they recognize that they were in, like, a high-pressure corporate espionage situation. You know what I mean? It just really calls the whole movie into question. I had to, I had to, I had to let it go. I had to let it go. Couldn't do it. Lost my dawn first. So you go. I gotta give it one more. I mean, we were we were competitive there. Just talking about nonsense. I haven't seen Inception in a while. I do think I saw it twice in theaters, though. It's all right. We're still in there. I mean, it was that was a great movie theater moment. The end of Inception. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, this is close, dude. I hate to do this. But I think I know what we need. It's to exit the... First off, we got to be competitive at the start. No doubt about that. But then we got to exit the, the second loop closer to the left. So we lose less speed taking that right turn at the very end. I, I really think this is our, like you know, portals moment. Where where maybe we've just found the keys to the kingdom. But I gotta admit, old PB, old me, was a menace. Like, that turn is just... I've, I've found it so hard to replicate that specific turn. That's not a good start. Maybe we can at least test our theory. So we're six tenths back. You want to exit heavy to the left, and then immediately push it to the right. We're going to be like 8 tenths back, or <laughs> 1.2 seconds back. Ha! I found myself screaming in a home office. The evils of Lucy was all around me. I went running for answers. That's going nowhere. Now, PB, when I get you, get you, get you, get you, I'm gonna go ahead and get Green Man. I did, someone, I don't know, it was a very strange comment on Reddit. Someone said, it's funny, NL talks about To Pimp a Butterfly so much, never talks about any of the songs on the album. Hmm, how curious. Um, a, weird. B, not true. Big fan. I mean, it's the only album I listened to for like a year straight. Wesley's Theory, King Kunta, All Right. The blacker the berry, if these walls could talk. How much a dollar really cost? There you go. Is that have have has your your gatekeeping obsession been sated? Like if I was gonna pick an album for street cred, it would be to pimp a butterfly. I wouldn't pick like, you know, Mersbo like everybody else. Or swans. I would be like, wow, an accessible and yet artful hip-hop record. This will make people think that my musical taste is unassailable and, you know, something to be aspired to. I ever, I'm not saying it's a bad album. Everybody agrees it's a masterpiece. It's just some kind of weird gatekeeping. Like, I only listen to, like, one album per year. To think that I would make it up for street cred as a 31-year-old expecting father 
let me just put it this way. It sounds like our priorities are in a different place in our life, especially because you're posting about it. But anyway, again, I digress. My, why be so defensive? Well, because it's an assault on your character about something meaningless and superficial. It's just got an extreme weird champ energy associated with it. Not as weird champ as when I look through the rest of... Hold on, one moment. This is important. It's NASCAR Thunder. Okay. My... I just... I was like, if I turn my front wheels to the left, then my back wheels are going to move slightly to the right temporarily, which is going to cause us to hit the wall, so I had no option. There was no escape strategy. Screw. I, you know, we're over an hour here. I think I gotta call it. Over an hour is where I start to get the red light, which is just like, I got other things to do today. <laughs> as long as we put down a decent performance, I can live with a mild disappointment as a storyline builder. Builds the storyline that we're gonna go two days in a row without an author medal. We really gave it our all today. We learned a lot. We had some great runs. We unfortunately, I mean, like, I think our problems are going to be easy to diagnose in retrospect. I look forward to reading the constructive ones uh, and, and seeing how we can improve upon this today. But I'm not disappointed with today's performance. I think in terms of uh, efficiency, it was a little low. We spent a lot of time being unproductive, more or less. Not, not really contributing to uh, passing the PB. However, certainly on the whole today. Not too disappointed. The only way we're going to beat that one is with speed. So let's hope this new found vector gives us what we're looking for. It's not going to get gripped and ripped, brothers. Okay, so I got, I got one more. I got one more in me. You can't force me to stop here. Okay, there we go. We're going to touch the red tape, the candy cane. That's not great, quite frankly. The man's addicted. He's got a problem. I'm not keeping four wheels on the candy cane. Like, that's just... Honestly, more power to you. But it's audacious. Okay, so that was more like what I want, for sure. Then we just want to stay further to the right. Everything, like, in my head is telling me that I got the intellectual part of this track right. It's the, it's the actual execution that's killing me. It's giving me the same kind of frustration, quite frankly, I get from an Isaac train wreck. Where I'm like, come on. How dare you treat me like this? I showed you my club access. Please respond. Okay, good work. Wheels on. Solid turn. Solid turn. Not amazing. Solid. Now we stay farther to the right. It's a tough one, lads. It's a tough one to wrap the gourd around. I think I gotta call it. If I don't call it now, I'll never call it. <laughs> Still a good run. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thanks for your support, especially as these videos grow in length. And I'll see you next time. See you.